Hi, I'm Kevin, technical program manager on the Dart and Flutter team at Google. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes when you type Flutter upgrade? Well, strap in, because today we're driving through Flutter's release processes and release channels. There are three different release versions available for developers to use at any given time, master, beta, and stable. The Flutter SDK defaults to the stable channel on your development machine, but you can switch between each of these using the Flutter channel command. Imagine the three release channels are similar to the stages of producing a car. From the first model car to the finished vehicle you see on the road, every stage is crucial. First, the car is in R&D, there's a model car that's functional and has all the newest experimental features, but is still in the state of rapid iteration and ideation, kind of like the master channel. As plans solidify and the design is agreed on, it's time to build the prototype. The prototype is really close to the final car. It's equivalent to Flutter's beta channel release. The prototype runs through a gauntlet of tests. It's given countless hours in many environments to thoroughly test its safety and reliability. The design is then shipped to the factory for final manufacturing. This car is then rolled out by drivers on the road, just like the Flutter stable release. So how does this car design process relate to Flutter releases? Let's dig into the life of a Flutter release. A Flutter release is made up of three things, the Dart SDK, the Flutter engine, and the Flutter framework. And to be clear, when we say Flutter engine, this is not just another car metaphor. It's actually called the Flutter engine. Anyway, let's say you have a cool modification for Flutter. Flutter is open source after all. So you write the code for your feature and you open a pull request in the Flutter repo. Your PR goes through code review and rigorous testing. How many tests do you ask? Well, there's the Google suite of tests. Unit tests, image tests, customer tests, community contributed tests, functional tests, plugin tests, package tests, on device tests, native tests, web tests, integration tests, end to end tests, benchmarks, lists, static analysis. There's even tests to ensure your PR has tests. That's a lot of tests that your PR needs to pass, creating a strong signal that all the changes in your PR are safe and robust. After passing all the tests, your contribution is merged, making it an official part of the Flutter master channel. Then daily, a batch of code changes is merged into Google's ecosystem. Then once a month, we package everything together, the Dart release, the engine, and the framework to create a beta release. After more automated testing, a little more refining, and some time in the hands of developers around the world just like you, the beta release graduates to be a stable release. You might be thinking, doesn't this mean a stable release is just an older beta release? Precisely, with intensive testing, hot fixes, and consistent updates, it's like you're previewing a future stable release. Hey, Jai Young, don't you have a fun fact you want to share with the Flutter community? I sure do. Hi, Jai Young here, UX researcher on the Dart and Flutter team at Google. Remember when Kevin told you that every day a batch of code changes is merged into Google? That version of Flutter is what powers all of Google's Flutter apps. That means Google's Flutter apps use a version of Flutter that's similar to beta, but even more cutting edge. So. If you've been afraid of using the beta channel because of its name, don't be. The beta release is a great compromise between the new features from master and reliability from stable. Every release on Flutter's beta channel has gone through tremendous testing, not just Flutter's own tests, but also every test for every Google Flutter app. Developing your app on the beta channel or setting up a second CI pipeline against the beta release is also a great way to get ahead of the curve in updating your app for the next stable release. To give the beta channel a try, open your terminal and type Flutter channel beta. Now back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Jai Young. So to recap, the master channel is a playground for fresh features, making it the go-to if you want the newest Flutter innovations. As features pass our test and show reliability on master, they get promoted to the beta channel the go-to option for a balance between master's newest features and Stable's reliability. Then, after even more time in the hands of Flutter developers all around the world and continued refinement, once a quarter, a beta release is promoted to Stable, the good old default Flutter experience that we know and love. Now you know all about the life of a Flutter release. 
So before you run Flutter Create, consider running Flutter Channel Beta to try all the new features before they land in stable. With that, keep on exploring, keep on innovating, and most importantly, keep on fluttering.